Okay, so you just let me start talking. Oh, uh, yeah, just. So, okay. Hey, Paul, can you hear? <laughs> yeah. Hey. This is Rochelle. She lives around here, lifelong in Mississippi, and so she's going to tell you a little bit about the land. Okay, so growing up, walking in the woods with my family, hunting or whatever, we have like a lot of Indian in our blood or Indian in our ancestors. They would tell us that wherever you see this moss on the ground, peat moss, that if you look, that there will be like burial grounds or just certain areas where maybe there were like Indian camps there. But for whatever reason, this is the sign of there being Indians at one time. So if you look here, you'll see this hill. And this is just a little one, but you see the moss that's growing on in this particular spot. You'll see oh, this yeah. moss. And we call yeah. it peat moss. I don't know if that's like the real name of it, okay. but that's what they told me. Yeah. So, and that's, you know where Indians were at at one time. Wow. So, and the way they would live would be like, they would have their burial grounds, and they would have like mounds for like different things, you know, like, because, you know, they didn't, their burial grounds were at the bottom of your hills because of the fact of their, their water. They mm. didn't want to contaminate their water sources. So oh. at the very bottom of wherever they lived at, that's where they would keep their dead bodies at hmm. so it wouldn't contaminate their drinking water. Hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. All along the hill, you'll see that there are different hills. And of course, being, you know, back then living in whatever, they lived in made mainly little houses that were made out of, what are they called, short cats? Huh? There wasn't teepees. They didn't live in teepees. They lived in what? What are those houses called? The little, like, Gra like a grass mud structure um, um, is what they made their house. Okay, the okay. Uh, yeah, and they used uh, palmetto for the roofs of them. Huh. I haven't seen, I'll tell you what palmetto is. Okay, done, okay. So, wow, that is, that is really interesting, really cool. And yeah, so you can, you can see like this moss like everywhere, huh? Because it just goes out there in those mounds. The flooding, so you'll see where the land will be like a flat, uh -huh. and then a hill, and then a little bit higher, and then a flat, and then a hill, and this is going to go all the way up to the highest point where they actually would have, like, slept, had religious ceremonies, hmm. really lived on top of the highest point of wow. the place of the, wow. of the area of the land, and they all did that. All Indians always lived at branch heads on top of hills near larger creeks or that streams. is so cool and then uh one more time the branch head so that's that's where the water first comes yeah, up right where the water begins that's coming up out of the ground very cool very mm -hmm. cool wow so like over here in mississippi there's a lot of history you know you get all this you got the native americans that lived here and then people of the lands and you get all this wildlife and everything and so it's really cool to come out here and then you meet cool people like Rochelle and you get to actually find out more info about it. All of us can usually trace our ancestors all the way back to where they come across pretty much as a pilgrim. Like on the, you know, we all know wow. where, where we come. We're either originally from here and we're Indian or our family come here from overseas and we can, all of us pretty much know that history. That's so, so cool. My family were real Indians. They were always, was, was, this was called Choctaw Nation. All of this part of Mississippi and some of Oklahoma was Choctaw Nation before it was a state. Hmm. And it was colonized. And they come and they move the Indians off of Mississippi lands into Oklahoma onto reservations. And there's some reservations in Mississippi, but in the northern parts. But all of this southern land where all these big pines were at, and the resources were at, they removed the Indians from those lands. But a oh, few, huh. like there were 5,000 or so Choctaw that didn't leave and stayed, and they had to assimilate or become like white. They had to get white names and, you know, oh, agree man. to live like they wanted them to live. And, oh, that's sad. And lose control of their land. Oh, man. But, and so yeah. do you have the. Is there any Native American? Cause, so you have some in your 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 right. ancestry, My right? Great, great, 
great grandfather was um, full blooded Choctaw. Okay. Wow. So, yeah, and then, and I have Choctaw on both sides, my mom and my dad's side. So my blood quantum, that's what you call it, the, your percentage of blood that you have. Okay. Would be probably anywhere from an eight, maybe to maybe it's no no more than an eight. Wow. It's because you know with each person that's not full blooded, you know, it halves. So just just by my grandfather being full blooded, the next line would have only been half. Then a okay, quarter, yeah. then an eighth, the sixteenth, thirty. You know, it goes down. Hmm. So it hmm. does take long before the Indian is gone. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But anybody Still in there, though. that is a lineal descendant of a Choctaw, if you can trace your is your ancestry back to a lineal descendant, you're just Choctaw. Okay, and what's a lineal like? Lineal would be grandfather to father to okay any anything like that. Like not aunts and uncles, but like your actual grandparent or their you know. Okay. Parents, so. Right on. And so, is there like still like some? uh like straight up choctaw that, that live around here do they um, kind of stay like i i guess what i'm asking is like is there some that just don't even want to be around the rest of uh like this the the towns and stuff like that do they like to stay off the grid we have a reservation that okay. full, some full-blooded choctaws live on okay and um it's like middle mississippi it's not quite north but it's in the middle area hmm. it, um, my particular clan come from um a place called Bogachita. Hmm. Bachito is how they, they said it. And um, it's in Neshoba County. So my people would be of the Choctaw Nation Bachito clan. And they were the, the you know, they, they were original, you know, Choctaw Nation Choctaw that come from, they, they come from uh, North and South Carolina to Mississippi is where they migrated hmm. from but they were pushed off these lands in Mississippi to Oklahoma or either to those reservations there in Neshoba. There's how many of them up there that are, that are, uh, Choctaw, uh, counties. Shortcake. Huh? How many of those counties up there have, uh, it's Neshoba, uh, but there's a few of counties that are considered reservation. Hmm. One starts with an F, uh, Simpson, maybe? I don't know what exactly. I, I know right on, is. right on. Yeah. I, and so, like out here too, you can find like those uh, arrowheads, arrowheads yes, and absolutely. stuff. Oh man, that's but so that's cool. That's not it. That's not the only Pretty thing cool. that you'll find. There are tools that, that the Indians use. They had drills that they used. They had oh wow um, things. They they scrape the um, fur and separated like the meat from the. From the fur. Wow, and you can um, find that stuff out oh, here yeah. sometimes. Mm -hmm. Man, so cool, so cool. So, yeah, they, and then, <laughs> and so this is, so we're we're in. Um, this is, are we in Stone County then, right here? We're in Stone County. Stone mm -hmm. County, right here. We are in, in the middle of what would have been Choctaw Nation before Mississippi was a state. Right on, and that creek right over there, that one's. That's a. That's just a branch. That's but, just a branch. Right. Okay. That, that is. Um, a tributary or water tributary that runs into Red Creek. Okay. That runs into our larger rivers, then goes into the Gulf. Right on. Cool. Well, sweet. Thanks, Michelle. All right. A little information about Mississippi. Catch y'all later. So,